Yeah, I'll give, I'll give, I've got a click on it. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here today. Uh, my name is uh, Khaled Ahmed, and I'm a full-time PhD student here at uh, the Marketing and Repetition Department. Uh, my topic is about the influence of online creativity and dynamic content on customer experience and professional behavior. So today I'll talk to you about objectives, which is give you a background about the customer experience, the creativity, and the dynamic content. Uh, give you a little bit of the initial review, talk about my research area, and finally just give you a summary of uh, what I've been talking about today, and finally just taking the questions. So, what is customer experience? <coughs> In the literature, customer experience is the internal and subjective response customers have to any direct or indirect contact with a company. Uh, so, someone argued that if I ask you guys, are you satisfied with um, your time at Henry Business School so far? You're pretty much going to say, okay, yes. But if I ask you, how was your experience so far with Henry Business School? I'm pretty sure everyone is going to have a different story. Uh, so that's where the customer experience um, idea came from. But the literature agreed that the component of the customer experience is five components. Cognitive, emotional, behavioral, sensorial, and social. So why customer experience matter? matter? Now, all these companies now have got customer experience managers uh, working with them. And most of the CEOs agreed that customer experience is at their top priority, and it will become the next competitive advantage uh, within the next uh, decade. So not only that, but only all these companies as well uh, will get together and uh, uh, to open the Customer Experience Conference in London uh, in February 2018. And all these people, most of them are Customer Experience Managers as well. So you might ask me, why now? What happened? Um, everything should, uh, used to be fine. Uh, what we're talking about the Customer Experience now. So I'll tell you, okay, back in the days, the whole market was very simple. Everything used to be in one place, in the marketplace, buying and selling. So the business environment used to be very easy. But today's market environment is really complex and uh, become very dynamic and fragmented in terms of the consumers themselves, the omnichannel marketing, and the social uh, platforms. It becomes enormous. So it, become, it, it makes the, the business environment very uh, difficult to, to deal with. So how did the customer experience start? The customer experience didn't start just overnight. It starts over stages, and it starts from the very simple idea of that customer buying behavior, where buyer behavior will based on motives, alternatives, and decisions. And the role of advertising is to help consumers build awareness, knowledge, liking, preferences, conversion, and purchase. And then the next stage is the customer satisfaction and loyalty, where customer reaction to company offer and measure uh, satisfaction against ex uh, expectation by asking questions like, how satisfied are you, which is the customer satisfaction level, or how lucky are you to recommend us to, uh, to, to recommend ourselves to someone, which is the, the next, they call it the net promoter school. The next stage becomes the service quality, where the uh, service becomes dominant in the marketplace, and the companies looking for, for, for ways to measure the service the company provides, and they provide the, uh, a model called the service quality model, which measures the tangibility and reliability, responsiveness, assurance, and empathy uh, for the service. After that, it becomes a relationship marketing, which emerged in the 1990s, and it was mainly for B2B, and then moved to the B2C, and it's a, it's a great way of building trust and commitment uh, with the customer. The next stage was the customer relationship management, which emerged in the, in the 2000s, to create value for customer relationship management, which is called the CRM, to basically maximize the, the, the customer profitability using the database we know about customers. And 
also um, creating the, the, the coins which called the customer lifetime value. And after that, the customer centricity and customer focus, which basically dealing with customers at an individual level rather than the mass market, and which is a very good tool to predict what consumer could do in the future, and also how to react uh, to, to that quickly. The last stage was the customer engagement, which is imagined in the last decade, and it tries to differentiate between customer attitude beyond purchase. Uh, it argues that customer engagement is motivational in its nature to create or destroy uh, the company value. It includes uh, things like customer co-creation, uh, online communities, and uh, referral or uh, the word of mouth. So just to summarize it, the evolution of customer experience starts from the consumer buying behavior. So for every stage of that, we take away some of these elements and we combine it together, which goes down to the customer experience as, as a holistic approach. So the construct of customer experience is three, three constructs which is the customer experience journey, which basically means we define the touch point the customer has to go through during, sorry, before, during, and after the purchase. And the customer experience measurement, which is measuring every touch point the customer has to go through before, during, and after the purchase. And last is the customer experience management, which is mapping and designing the customer journey and touch points throughout the journey as well. So what do we know about the customer experience in the literature? Yeah, before I move that, um, I did make like a quick keyword search by title on the Reading Summon, and I just come up with some keywords about customer experience and the rest of uh, what could associate with customer experience. And I found that the trade journals, as you can tell, was tied too high in, in these three areas. Whereas the rest, it just it's just very low. It's a huge gap in the middle between uh, these keywords between 2010 and 2017. Uh, especially at academic level, there's not much being done about customer experience. All of that, apart from uh, just a general term of customer experience. So to move forward, what do we know in the literature about customer experience? Customer experience is an L defined and, be and vary between B2B and B2C. Also, the online channels cannot be analyzed in isolation, and more channels means more complex data to analyze. Also, the customer management, customer experience management is not well understood, and it requires cultural mindset, strategic direction, and capabilities to implement it. The online customer experience model has been introduced with emphasis on cognitive and affective component on online customer experience. Also, another paper introduced a conceptual customer experience model based on literature and argued that the prior experience will influence the, the future experience. And uh, customer experience matters most when the economy is doing better, but low income consumers are more sensitive to changes in the economy than higher income consumers. Also, companies are looking all looking for for metrics or simple metrics to measure performance like the customer satisfaction and the net promoter score, but the breadth of customer experience component will make it really difficult to, to measure it. Also another piece saying that the customer experience touch point identified was seven elements, was atmospheric, technological, communicative, process, employee to customer interaction, customer to customer interaction, and the product interaction. However, I put that last bit just to share it with you guys. Uh, it's really important, and it's also good to, to know your feedback about it. It says, if the pattern of academic development is followed, academic will spend considerable time developing, testing, and validating measures of customer experience. Customer experience is a risky area to measure, and the drive towards measuring measurement will come from those who believe that a phenomenon cannot be measured, it does not exist. And that was a paper in 2010. So, the challenges in the area in customer experience is to find out the key driver, internal and external, affecting customer experience, analyzing and mapping customer experience, developing a scale that uses technology to measure customer experience, and developing an organization ecosystem that matches the customer experience. So moving forward, the literature on the creativity and dynamic content. So the term called textual bar language, which is the written, non-verbal, audible, tactile, 
and visual elements which support or replace the written language. It uses words, symbols, images, punctuations, could be emojis and emoticons, and more. It can increase customer engagement, connection, and loyalty with the brand. There's, an, there's a paper that looked at uh, a consumer engagement with a static image like this one, or a dynamic image like this one, which has some movement. And the research found that the dynamic image affects the level of consumer engagement with a brand logo. Also, the effect of online dynamic animated ad, which had Flash Java, has higher con conversion rate than the static ad format, which is like a normal ad as a, with a normal photo. Um, do you know that in 2015, the word emoji was the word of the year? Uh, as the most well, word uh, or the most word has been used. Uh, also, I came across that dissertation, I thought it would be funny to share it with you. That was a dissertation on emojis on 2017. That was the table of content, and that was the chapter. And most of the body was just full of emojis. But I don't do that, I just uh, <laughs> scratch. Okay, so one piece of information that you know, you know that in July 17, oh sorry, July 17 is the world of uh, is the world of emoji day. Also, there are more than 2,500 official emojis in the unicorn in the unicorn standard. Goldman Sachs, as a company, tweeted completely the emoji to highlight a research report on the year. Uh, Domino's Pizza now lets you order uh, pizza by using emoji. Uh, Snapchat spent 100 million on a company that turns your face into an emoji. Uh, last but not least, Twitter charged companies around 1 million dollars to get their own customized emoji. These companies are Coca Cola, Pepsi, Starbucks, and Disney. So, moving forward, my research idea, my initial research idea, is basically looking at these variables the creativity and the amount of content online, uh, how that affects the customer experience with its uh, different elements cognitive, emotional, sensorial, social, and behavior. And how does that effect will affect these two of the purchase behavior and the return on investment? So, summarize customer experience is the experience customer formed by interacting directly or indirectly with the, with the company. Customer experience has five components cognitive, sensorial, social, behavioral, and emotional. Customer experience is a very dynamic area, very context related, and very between B2B and B2C. More research is still needed to understand and measure and manage customer experience. The use of the, man, of the dynamic content and brand language is grown online, and more research is needed to understand it. Thank you for listening, and uh, I'll work on your questions. Any questions? Please be critical and <coughs> difficult because that's, that's going to be easy. helpful in there. Joe? Um, <laughs> give, given you, you emphasized in, in the literature the, the difficulty, the, the multi dimensional nature of it and the difficulty of measuring it, you you are, though, going to be measuring it, are you? Well, that, that was the first, my, my initial uh, idea is to try to develop a model uh, that would measure the customer experience and like a robust model. I got in touch with a couple of people who actually wrote up these papers and uh, asked them, okay, how difficult that would be. They said, it's worth trying. Uh, you, can, you can mix and match some uh, different elements like the net promoter score or the customer satisfaction in every touch point. But I discussed that with my supervisor and the supervisor said, it looks interesting, sounds interesting, sounds great, but let's just look at some variables and how these variables will affect the customer experience rather than go into a very big area that might become too much for, for, for a PhD dissertation. But that was my initial goal. I would like to do it, but yeah, um, I'd like to take a risk, but I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Colin, I've got a question. Sure, yeah. I do retail history, and most of what you talk about would have been perfectly understandable to Marks and Spencer, Sainsbury's, Macy's, etc. in the 1930s. What worries me is you've got this huge evolution of terminology but the basic ideas don't seem to have changed very much at all. And if some things still be basically where it was at in the 1930s, then there's a problem. Now, thinking about things which have changed, I guess you've got both the digital thing and also you've got the 
reduction in person to person even if you go into a business for example in a bank probably you don't speak to the to a person for 95 percent of the interactions you do going into a bank use a cash point or whatever so that's not a good, but that's not a good touch point. Yeah, in, in yeah. but it, but the, the 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 smaller the, the smaller the proportion of touch points are to total transactions, the more importance they've got. So there may be something in that, but I think it would be useful because the, the the literature seems to be really good at turning out terminologies and splitting things into six different categories or whatever. But underneath that, there needs to be something a bit more solid, if you like. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the reasons why you've got lots of stuff in the practitioner journals, but there's not too much in the academic journals. I did a lecture a few years ago on a module on banks and marketing, customer marketing, and it was very difficult to find enough stuff to fill a reading list, which was very good. So it's certainly an underdeveloped area. But I think the key thing is to sort of get an angle on it, which would now enable you to, up to add value. Even an angle just to compare what has been happening in, in, in the past and what's changed now. And Not so much that, but sort of an insight into this is really what people are missing. And this is where I think that the needs to be added to build the sort of research question around. Because one of the things, remember, a lot of these things are quite hollow, the, the ideas, because if you look at them, they tend to collapse into each other. Mm, that's true. I'll take that board. Any more questions, Dan? Got two more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your personal opinion on all those factors? So do you think that some of them is more useful than others? Looking at what Professor Scott was suggesting, if you should choose an angle, which one is more significant? Well, uh, the, the, not the same angle, but for me it is interesting as well to look at variables and uh, what these variables could affect something and also the overall effect of that on something else. Uh, but Living in the world we're living now, we live in, in, in a creative economy, in an attractive, uh, attractive economy. Everything around us now is based on the, the what is called aesthetic. And if you look at things like the, the design now for a product, you will be surprised how much of the decision purchase you make based on the design on song or the aesthetic uh, world. So I believe that all the creativity and all the attraction we, we live in this world now is worth looking into mm -hmm. and what that could affect us in, in or affect this customer experience uh, definition. Um, I'm still interested in it, but uh, I wouldn't do some, I wouldn't want to do something that is much bigger that would put me in, in, in a, like a dark, 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 dark room. Uh, so I'd, I'd rather stick to something that more manageable than something uh, too good. Good question. Any final question? Yeah, thanks very much.